They got you, Jack. They got me. They got you so, good. They, they locked me up in Salem. <laughs> He's not allowed back here anymore. I, this is it. This is the vlog. They, guys, so they put me in town square in the middle, and they told me I was a witch, <laughs> and I've been banished. Jack Jockwa is on exile. <laughs> Listen to the music that's like... You guys, they've sentenced me. <laughs> What's up guys? Back at the Salem Inn here. But we are about to do a lot of stuff today in Salem. How about you take a tour, eat at some cool places. We're about to go to a local coffee shop, which is out of Jack's element over there. Um, but I'm gonna force him to not go to Starbucks today. So that's what we're about to do, let's go. Um, I'm, ex I'm super excited. And we're gonna go to Boston tomorrow. It still looks like I haven't slept very much, but I did get some sleep last night. I was so out of it yesterday because I just didn't have very much sleep, but today is the day. Let's do this. We're at the Salem Witch Trials Memorial, and look them over here. All of them, actually I realized this, most of them died on July 19th. They were all hanged in 1692, all on the same day. Like, There's probably like eight people here that were all dead on the same day. But look, the other part of the stone is empty. Are they planning something? <laughs> you planning for more? Uh-oh. <laughs> I'm just... <laughs> it breaks down by town where people came from who were accused in the Salem witch trials. And as you look at the chart, the first thing you might notice is that the town of Andover actually had the most people accused from it. Which might be a little surprising, after all. You can actually see that Andover, which is by my fingers right up here, is nowhere near Salem. They don't even share a border with one another. We just got done with the... Hey, were you trying to race me there? <laughs> we're racing. Trying to get my uh, thigh. We're about to get some pizza. We just got done with a two hour uh, tour. It was a walking tour. It was about an hour long, maybe a little bit over an hour. And we saw, we went back to the uh, memorial that we were at earlier today, which, but, which was cool because we got all the facts about everything. So we weren't just like making stuff up. No, we learned all about the witch trials. <laughs> yeah, and fun fact, almost most of the people that were accused were not from Salem. Um, a lot of people that died, a lot of people that were hung in the trials were from Salem, but they, they rounded up people from all over Massachusetts and brought them here to be trialed, which is crazy. Uh, so we're going to... You know what my favorite thing I learned today was? What? We learned about the guy, this guy named Giles Corey, and he was smashed to death. It took him three days. They eventually just kept adding, adding piles of stone onto him. Three days, and he could still talk. He was breathing. Just imagine all the pain he went through. That's insane. Three days to die. He famously said, "More stones," because he wanted to be killed quick. He. The reason why they stoned him, or not stoned him, the reason why they pressed him to death is honestly they didn't, weren't trying to kill him. They were trying to torture him, so he would admit to uh, witchcraft, basically. And fun fact, another fun fact. Everyone who pleaded guilty except for one person everyone lived so if you pleaded guilty they wouldn't kill you right away they would be like all right who else is a witch and you would just point fingers and be like that person that person pretty much witch. pretty much just people they didn't like so we learned a lot on that too very so much very cool we got to see uh where the old prison was and what was crazy about that is so there was no heat or anything in there so in the winter people froze to death mm -hmm. but that wasn't even the worst part those jail cells would get flooded and there was no way the water could escape. So there'd people be submerged up to their necks. And then, yeah, it's crazy. you know, come December, January, they're frozen to the neck up and die. <laughs> or, I'm sorry, to the toes up. That's, that's crazy. Yeah. So we're gonna get some za. Some za. Boston So we're here at the Bambolina and they have watermelon drinks. For some reason, they have special summer water are you? Pretty cool. Break open. Ooh, that was good. I, oh, I am full. I am full too. That pizza was delicious. We're about to head to. <laughs> Somebody was trying to get in our video, but we're about to. We're about to head to the witch, the witch museum. Ugh, One of there's many of them, but we're going to the biggest one. So we're pumped. Stay tuned. Salem Witch Museum. We actually get in for free here because we're staying at the Salem Inn. Um, there's a little statue of a Puritan over there. I don't know who that is, but we're going to check it out after the museum. 
Uh, and there's also right across from the museum is this beautiful park. I like to call it the, the Central Park of Salem. I don't know what it's called, but it's pretty big and it's really beautiful. So, this is a statue of Roger Conant. I don't know how to pronounce his last name. He's the first settler of Salem. And it says it was in 1670. Uh, oh, he died. Sorry, he died in 1670. But this is, uh, I guess he's the first man to settle Salem. I don't know exactly what that means. Well, by him on there, I guess he was important. <laughs> We're at the Salem Witch Museum right there. So we just got out, right, Jack? Got out of the Witch Museum. Got out of the Witch Museum. It was so cool. There was like a show in there. It was so f intense. It was so intense. Um, uh, we got in, we were like, what the heck is going on? They had a bunch of like mannequins and they shine light on them. And they told stories and stuff. You just chilling? Yeah, it was like all these mannequins, they were up up in different corners of the room we were sitting in mm -hmm. and then uh so every scene would project a light on that particular corner of the room mm -hmm. so you'd look up and you'd see like uh what's his name giles Corey. giles Corey getting crushed john, and john proctor and they had sound effects of him getting crushed to death it was it was intense <laughs> it was intense but and then they told uh they basically explained the history of witchcraft and, and why it's so taboo and super cool if you like spooky stuff, I'd highly recommend it.